Everyone knows in Minecraft there's only one way to enter the end, but what if you could build an end portal outside the stronghold? Only two YouTubers have ever done this, and one of them happens to be my friend Mello. So to one-up him, I'm going to build the world's largest end portal. Firstly, I'm going to build an outline out of dirt to represent how big it's going to be. As expressed by my clear sadness, I may have overestimated this project's size. And to make matters worse, I'm going to be inviting Mello in one week from now to show him the portal. So I think to maximize my efficiency, I'm going to be splitting the project into three phases, starting with phase one. The first phase of this project is collecting the resources, to be more specific, 33,000 end stuff. With efficiency five and haste two, I break about 2.5 blocks per second. So if I do the math real quick, it's going to take me 3.6 hours to mine. Yeah, there's no way I'm doing that that might have been the worst four hours of my life anyways with all the end stone we are only 30 percent done because now i need 13,000 skulls which requires me to go to the ancient city i've never gone to the ancient city before wait can't i just build a skulk farm and now i get an afk for like 50 hours. With all the endstone and scope, I've already knocked off two days, so I really need to speed things up from here. Only problem, this is just the beginning, because next up on the list is coal. How much, you might ask? 4,000 blocks. And I have 29. Yeah, this might take a while. <laughs> you really thought I was gonna mine all that? Fun fact, wither skeletons actually drop coal. So with this handy dandy wither skeleton farm that didn't take any time out of my life at all, I have more than enough. I also need around 5,000 obsidian, but luckily because of my last video, that's all taken care of. Anyways, with all these materials, I can finally attempt to start building. Yeah, attempt. Honestly, this build was quite annoying, but it wasn't too bad. I just watched YouTube and after two hours of painful manual labor, I got it done. I'd say the end portal is coming along nicely, but I still have lots of resources I need to gather, one of which being Dark Prismarine. Now, in order to get one block, I need eight Prismarine shards as well as one ink set, meaning I'll need a total of 34,000 Prismarine shards just for the Dark Prismarine alone. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life swimming around killing guardians. So once again, I need to make a farm. Cue the montage. And now I'm gonna AFK it overnight because it's literally 2 a.m. Well, something had to go wrong. I left the glass open on the guardian farm overnight, but I'm not gonna get down on myself just yet because I still have four days left. Anyways, I still need one ink sack for each dark prismarine. So my plan is to build an ink farm then AFK bull farms overnight for the dark prismarine. And luckily nothing went wrong and we have all the dark prismarine I'll ever need. Now I'm gonna start shifting my focus on the last remaining blocks I'll need to finish the main build. Some of them are really easy to get like slime or quartz because I already have those materials, but some not so much because I need over 5,500 warp planks so i can either manually mine all of this wood or i can make a farm i think you know where this is going wait what's this all the materials wait how convenient all the materials waiting for me it took me like 20 minutes to get all of that i honestly can't believe how easy this farm was to build though especially the fact that it's giving me 8,000 nether logs an hour i just checked and one of the last things i need is 24 mossy cobblestone i've been playing this game for like eight years and i don't know how to get that to do so all players will need to do is combine a block of cobblestone with a vine in the crafting table. You know what? That actually makes perfect sense. But now I finally have all the materials I need for the build. So let's get building. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted the silver play button from YouTube. And after the support on the last video, I realized it might actually be possible, but I still have a long way to go. So if you want to help me reach my goal, a sub to the channel would really warm my heart. Now as a finishing touch, I need to remove all of this dirt. So why not make a sick montage out of it? Okay, the end portal is finally finished, but it's not because yeah, it doesn't work. And you might be wondering how I'm going to make it work. Well, welcome to one block at a time, an update where you can only have one block at a time. Basically, what I'm doing here is trying to get an end portal and bring it back to my world safely and legit. So first, what I need to do is find a ruined portal and then rearrange it to enter the nether. Then I need to look for another fortress. And then when I break the chest that naturally spawned there, it should drop an end portal frame. Yeah, don't ask me how that makes sense, but it does. Then I'm pretty sure I just throw it on my head. Oh, wow, it actually worked. Then all I need to do is transform myself back into the main world and it should be on my head. There's no way. There's literally an end portal on my head. Now I just take it off my head and it's in my 
my inventory and ready to be placed. But this is only one portal frame and I need 12 to construct a fully working portal. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to do that 11 more times because just getting one alone took me like two hours. But luckily there's another way and all I need to do is build this super cool Time Machine 9000. Yeah, the Time Machine doesn't actually work. I just made it for comedic effect. Then all I need to do is go inside and downgrade my world to Minecraft Beta 1.9 pre-release 3, which came out all the way back in 2011. Bro, I was like seven. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Basically what I need to do is find the stronghold. Hmm, I wonder where it is. Yeah, apparently Jeb left these glass pillars here to easily find where the stronghold was during beta versions of the game. So theoretically, if I just dig down the glass pillar, I should find the stronghold. Nice. Now all I gotta do is find the end portal, and it shouldn't look like a normal one. Bro, this is so weird. What even is that? Now all I gotta do is get some TNT and blow it up, and it should theoretically drop an end portal frame. Well, it dropped, but it doesn't look like an end portal frame just yet. All I need to do is go back into my time machine, and then when I get in my world, it should look like a normal end portal frame in my inventory. Yep, there it is. And now all I need to do is use secret methods to get the other 10. And now I need to be very careful while placing them because if I misplace them, the end portal won't light. And then if I place the eyes, it should light up, bro, please. Yes, it worked. I literally have the official world's largest working end portal. But the more I look at it, the more something just doesn't feel right about this. Sure, it technically works, but it feels cheap and like I'm skipping corners. I need real end portals, not this fake obsidian. I'm pretty sure this is impossible to do, but I think I know a guy who can help. Say hi, Lucid. Hi. And after a couple of hours of research, we came to the conclusion that it's impossible to obtain end portal blocks in Java. Yeah, I need to go to Bedrock. And the reasoning is pretty simple. In Java, the NBT data for an end gateway doesn't exist, so it's impossible to obtain it in your inventory. But that's not the case for Bedrock because there is NBT data for it, meaning I can physically hold the item and place it down. So hopefully if I build this Java to Bedrock machine converter right next to my other time machine, I can transform me and the end portal into Bedrock. Well, my name is Steve, I have an Alex skin on, and the end portal's here. I think it's safe to say it worked. And the reason that the end portal looks so weird is because blocks like warped planks and skulk didn't exist yet in this version i'm in but once i transfer it back it should go back to normal hopefully but basically what i'm doing here is pretty simple all i need to do is kill the ender dragon and spawn in the end gateway then use a wither to explode the gateway and drop the item on the ground but first we need to gear up and because i already have a fully working portal here i might as well use it So now with the Ender Dragon defeated, I need to go get three Wither Skulls to spawn in the Wither on the end gateway. Yes, there's the first one. Alright, that's the second one. Oh my bro, finally. And now what I need to do is head to the end and set up the contraption where the wither will blow up the end gateway. So theoretically, all I need to do is spawn the wither on these four blocks, and then when it finishes spawning, it will explode the end gateway. And because I only have iron gear right now, I'm not even going to attempt to fight the wither. I'm just going to try to get the item and then bring it back to the overworld. Okay, now I'm going to spawn him in and then hopefully he goes to the right spot. Okay, nice. Now I just need to wait and see if he actually blows up the end gate. Okay, it looked like he did. Now I just need to wait for him to be distracted by the enderman. Now I should be able to go get the gateway and then bring it back to the overworld. Nice. Okay, you guys might call me a cheater, but I need a way of getting over 9,000 of these because that's how many blocks are in the portal. So in Bedrock, there's actually a duping method that uses a sticky piston and a chest. So when the piston pushes the chest up, you take the item out and it'll duplicate it. And now I just need to do that 158 more times. And now that I actually have all these gateways, I need to place them in Bedrock because once again, you can't actually hold the item in Java. So I'll place them all down in Bedrock and then convert it over to my Java world with them already placed. So if everything went right, when I load into my Java world, there should be and gateways all over the portal. Yes, it actually worked. I can't believe we actually found a way to do it. But wait, I don't even know if it actually works in Java. So, oh my God, it actually worked. I got teleported to the end. And then I realized I completed the project with just enough time to show Mello. How convenient. Yo, this build looks sick. Yeah, bro, wanna try it out? Yeah, sure. Uh, Divi, I think your end portal was broken. Uh... It's so cringe. <laughs>